Good morning, Cougars. Welcome to your Chaparral Cougar Network News. Today is Thursday, night, February 19th. This is Emily Steven for having a Chaparral. Christian Club Meeting. Our next Christian Club Meeting will be next Thursday, February 26th. Join us and enjoy time with Pastor Charlie. Please bring at least one can of food to the meeting. The meeting will be, this, will be Thursday, February 26th from 2 to 3 p.m. in Mrs. Allen's room. See Mrs. Allen if you have any questions. We can do it. Underground Readers. Please note that today's Underground Readers meeting has been canceled. Again, today's Underground Reader meeting has been canceled. Announcing the annual Chaparral Canned Food Drive. Chaparral Christian Club and the Peer Tutors are joining forces with Mrs. Allen and Mrs. Hooden to sponsor this year's Food with Love Drive. We are asking that each student donate one can of food to be given to the nearby families in our local community. Students can bring donations to Mrs. Allen's classroom anytime or club members will be picking up food cans later this month. We can do this. So donate your can today. See Mrs. Allen or Mrs. Hooden if you have any questions. Basketball club. The next basketball club meeting will be tomorrow in the gym from 2.15 to 3.15. Bring your tickets and your game. Also, if you haven't signed up to buy your club t-shirt, please make sure you, you do this Friday. See you all there. Thanks, Mr. Choi. Attention all humanitarian club members. Please check our Google Classroom page for a very important announcement. And don't forget to bring any donations for the homeless shelter dinner to my room as soon as possible. Thank you, Mrs. Robertson. Rock Music Club. Rock Music Club will, will meet today, February 19th from 2 to 3 in Mrs. Syok's room. Game Club. Game Club's next meeting is on th Tuesday, February 24th in room 10, Mrs. Robles' rooms from 2 to 3 p.m. Game on. Can you believe it's already Thursday? That means it's already time for this week's Thursday Thoughts. Let's take a look. Good morning, Cougars. This is Miss Syok. I'm Mr. Weeks. Mrs. Robertson. As you are aware, this is the Random Act of Kindness Week, which fits perfectly with our character trait for this month. On Monday or Tuesday, you watched a video that introduced this nationwide event. Then you were requested to make a list of as many things as you can do to show kindness. In continuing with this theme, we will be presenting another short video today that illustrates a great example of people cheerfully and kindly giving to others. Be sure to stay tuned for a brief message from another teacher afterwards and see how this inspiring clip can come to life right here at Chaparral. When our next guest quit his job on Wall Street to open a pizza shop in Philadelphia, he had no idea the number of lives he would be changing. Take a look at him. My name is Mason Wartman. I'm 27 years old and I'm the owner of Rose's Fresh Pizza in Philadelphia. I was working on Wall Street, I kind of plateaued in my job, and I'd always wanted to own my own business. And I decided to move home to Philadelphia to start Rosa's. We always served a lot of homeless people because we sell affordable, nourishing food. One day a customer just asked to uh, buy forward a slice of pizza for the next homeless person. I ran out, got a post-it note, put it on a wall behind the register. So now our customers pay a dollar, and instead of getting another slice of pizza, they put a post-it on a wall. Then a homeless person comes in, takes the post-it off the wall, trades it in for a slice of pizza. Over the last nine months, we've given away 8,500 slices of pizza, and we feed about 30 to 40 homeless people every day. Our walls have become a nice kind of message board of well wishes to homeless people of encouragement and goodwill. Hearing stories from our customers about how much it means to them just encourages me to work harder. A slice of pizza is a big deal to me because I'm in a situation where I have to panhandle just, just to eat every day. Because of Mason, I'm assured of at least one slice of pizza every day. So all these, these uh, post-its are people that gave their dollar so that you could eat. You may not see the individual's face, but it gives you a sense of humanity that people care. It's really awesome that a little company that I started can help so many people. I'm just a, a little pizza shop that sells one thing, really. So uh, it's been really encouraging to see the improvement in the community. This job compared to Wall Street is a lot more work, but it's more fun and it's definitely more rewarding. I'm happier now. Please welcome Mason Wardman. You're 27 years old and you changed your life uh, from working on Wall Street, probably making decent money, 
to opening a pizza shop to help feed the homeless, which is an amazing thing. And so 8,500 slices of pizza, that, that is amazing that you've been able to help that many people. And all those post-its, it's very moving. It's cool when you see that, right? You know, I started it as a business to, to make money, basically. Um, and it's like any startup business. It was a lot slower than I thought it would be. And seeing homeless people come in and benefit from the system that we have. I mean, it's it's really been awesome. It really keeps me going. Well, it, because it's fulfilling. It's it's, yeah, it's it, really gratifying to know you're helping them. And most people would discourage homeless people from coming into their establishment, and you're encouraging them. And obviously, they're sitting next to someone eating a pizza, and everybody's all together. A lot of people ask people for directions in my shop. They ask homeless people for directions. They don't even know that they're communicating and interacting with them. Uh, as equals, you know, it's, right. it's really cool to, to build the community like that. That's fantastic. We want to encourage more people to go in there. So, because obviously the more that more money you make, the more people go in there, the more money that you can, and the more people. Andy, this is going to go in your uh, window, and this will help you drum up more business, I think. Wow. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> All right. Go put that in your window. Where is it in Philadelphia? 11th Street between Chestnut and Market. All right. You got to check this out. So anybody in Philadelphia, head on over there and uh, su support. It's good pizza, too. Yeah, I mean, that's I why assume. people come in. They come in for the good pizza, and then yeah, you just people and paying customers. happen to help other people at the same yeah. time. So you you would think that this is a good business model other people should follow form, right? Yeah, I mean, we're we're just a we're, we're just a little pizza shop, right? And we feed 30 to 40 homeless people every day, which is awesome, and it's good for business. You know, what if 10 or 20 other restaurants adopted a similar uh, business model? So say Chipotle did this. Say they had a $2 rice and bean special. You know, nobody's going to buy another $8 burrito for somebody. But say, you know, it's easy to afford another $2 on your $7 meal, $9. Mm -hmm. You feed one person for that day. They could, they're all, all across the country, 16, I think there are like 1,600 Chipotles throughout the country. I mean, that's... A yeah. lot of people. It'd be fantastic. So Chipotle's get on it. Yeah. And everybody else. <laughs> All right. Well, we want to help you in any way we can. And like I said, if you're in Philadelphia, go see uh, uh, Mason at Rose's Pizza. Our friends at Shutterfly believe in making the world a better place by helping people share life's joy. So uh, they want to give you a check for $10,000. So that'll help you a little bit, too. But go to Rose's Pizza in Philadelphia. That's good. Mm. Oh, check. Oh. So, um, so you guys can't go to Philadelphia, you know, and so you won't be purchasing sticky notes or the pizza. But there is something that you guys can do. There is something they can do. There is? Yes. How about the Humanitarian Club? Oh, yes, the yeah. Humanitarian Club. Mm. Why didn't I think about that? Great idea. The sign-ups, your advocacy teacher has them. You can participate in changing lives. Please sign up for the lunches. Your teacher has the information because we want to show